Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Sundering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 30th of March, 2023. We're going to be using the Broke Tarot for today's reading. And for those of you who haven't seen this deck, I'll show you a couple cards real quick. And fair warning, this is a shadow work deck for me, so hard telling what will come out. All right, my lovelies. Holy crap. There is 14 cards on this table. One of them is an ace. There is, what, two court cards here? Yeah, two court cards and eight major arcana. So very big energy. This is very important. This is kind of a turning of the tide moment. Um, a major shift. Literally a major shift. We literally have the tower right here. So... Sit up and pay attention. <laughs> it's all I can say for this. We have the Ace of Wands, the Judgment in Reverse, the Hangman, the Tower, the Magician, the Chariot, the Hierophant in the Reverse, the Seven of Swords in the Reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Knight of Pentacles in the Reverse, the Three of Cups in the Reverse, the Strength card, and the Page of Cups. So yes, as I said, lots of major energy going on. And this is important because... Whether you believe you know what your purpose is or you've been motivated to take action, you're being either off the wrong path or you're being in a mode of doing and you're putting all your energy where it doesn't need to go with this judgment card in reverse. So you're literally wasting your energy or wasting your potential by either picking the wrong path or um, indulging in things that are meaningless Things that um, don't rank on the scale, basically. So you need to pause. You need to get clear and put things in perspective. Rank your priorities and realize all the things that you're wasting your energy on, wasting your time on, wasting your motivation towards. Those things need to be addressed because there needs to be a reshifting, uh, reprioritizing, uh, as well as the epiphany of what those things are. You may feel that for the longest time you haven't been wasting your time, but the realization is, is that you have been, and that realization needs to come as well as great change for the better of getting rid of all that excess distraction, all that wasted energy, and refocusing it. And when I say refocusing it, I mean focusing it on a way to move forward past this mishap, past this distraction, past this roadblock, past this um, sidetrack. If you got off the wrong, the wrong path somewhere, if there was a fork in a road and you chose left when you needed to go right, you need to recorrect that. Um, but you need to realize there is a way forward about learning, learning where you need to either leave things behind, take things forward, redirect boundaries, um, and, and what really ultimately needs to be given up in the struggle. So you may have persisted in this for a very long time. Um, it, it could be a bad habit. It could be um, something that you thought you felt called to do, but it's not actually part of your purpose. It was meant to be temporary on your path, and instead you think it's the main focus, and that is wrong. So um, you've literally run off in the wrong direction, and that is where you need to learn where that boundary is. That way you can create a path through it, and that is available. Creating that path, creating um, a way through is available. You have everything you need with this Nine of Pentacles to let go of the attachments, the addictions, the, the distractions, all that white noise, everything that um, needs to be released in order to get through this. Sadly, you have been in a state of, after you realize what this is, of thinking that there is no plan, there, there's no way through it, there's nothing to support you, you just have to endure it. However, you have everything you need. So despite doubt that shows up right here, 
you actually do have everything at your disposal. You have um, what it takes with this strength card. So don't let your ego right here with the Devil, Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups, in both in the reverse, telling you that you can't figure a way around or through the obstacle because you can. You have everything you need. You have the endurance to move forward. You also have the connection here with the Page of Cups to your gut, your intuition, your emotions to lead you through your instincts. All that higher connection, that higher vibration when you tap into it will help guide you. Just want to make sure I am not missing anything else because there is a lot of major arcana on the table. And I want to double check. Uh, uh, oh, okay. They're, they're highlighting the hangman, the magician, and then they're bringing me back to the nine of pentacles with those three cards. So not only will you have this connection with the page of cups that comes from a shifted perspective that can that is brought by a connection to higher self as well as being able to utilize your higher self to grab your all your tools because we have swords pentacles cups wands on the magician card realizing what your tools are what is completely at your disposal and how to use them you you have everything you need you, you really do it, it's just making all the connections And then they're bringing it back to the tower. Connections to make change. So once you identify the problem, please go back and reassess what is at your disposal. What is all the tools in your arsenal? Find out every single way that you have or can create to see yourself through. Because there, there seems to be probably a couple different ways you could go about this. But really, you only need one to work. You only need one to work. Now, which one you decide to take is up to you. And I did add these up. As I was going through, everything adds up to 106, which reduces to 7, which is the mind and creativity. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, well, guess what? This ego trip right here that we see with the devil and the knight of pentacles and the three of cups both in the reverse is right. Whether you decide to let it be right or not is up to you. Um, seven is also the mind of, uh, is the number of not only the mind, but creativity. So this does mean, as I said, going back, making connections, realizing what's at your disposal, getting creative to get around this block. Make sure that you are not bypassing anything. This is a redirect moment, and with the number of major arcana I have on the table, it says it's a major one, so it is important. And yes, it may not be something that happens like that in an instant. You may only get as far as realizing what it is and maybe a way to get through it on the day. This doesn't mean this is a quick fix. This is something to be addressed but it is something important to be addressed because you're either wasting energy or you're not on the correct path at the moment. As I said, it feels like a redirect. And you know what? Let me double check the astrology because we are entering the last of the month. 30th of March, moon enters Leo. Hobbies get more attention. You feel greater joy in hobbies that you do have. You can, and they can be used as distraction or relief when you're troubled. So we do have the devil card right here. Distractions. No big surprise. So if we're feeding into distractions um, too much, that, that can also be a problem because that can divert us from what we actually need to be doing. Mars and Cancer are trying Saturn and Pisces. Strong discipline energy gives great focus. Magician card right here. Make things happen to reach new heights. So that's that's literally what we see right here of having realizations, doing something about it, and harnessing energy. Venus and Taurus conjuncts Uranus and Taurus. Sudden relationship changes, feels out of your control. Be more flexible, be more open. 
All right, and I would say that would be the hangman right here, um, being more flexible, having, taking a pause and being reflective and letting us have the shift in perspective, our aha moment. Very big day for you to make a realization and to turn things around. All right, my lovelies, I hope some of this resonated for you. If it does, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.